Certainly, he made the right uh, noises in terms of the, the, the words that were spoken, uh, but it's action uh, that counts. So he's a new Prime Minister. I want to build a good relationship. I hope the decisions he takes, I'm sure I will not agree with all of them, as he will not agree with all of the decisions I take. But I hope we see uh, from him and his government uh, the right decisions in what is a, a difficult situation overall. But in terms of whether he's going to deliver on these things, you know, the, the jury is out on that and time will tell. Look, we are politicians from very different political parties and different outlooks. Of course we're going to disagree on many things. But the, the test, I think, of any professional, grown-up political relationship between different governments is whether you're prepared and able to put those disagreements aside and find areas to work on. And even where you disagree, to be able, nevertheless, to have frank conversations and disagree civilly. So there has been a deterioration in the relationship between the UK government and I think all of the devolved administrations. There's been a lack of respect on the part of the UK government, a riding roughshod over the powers and responsibilities of devolved parliaments. Now, I welcome Rishi Sunak's words about wanting to reset the relationship and do things differently. I really welcome that, but the proof of the pudding will be in the eating. We need to see from the UK government proper respect, and if that is the case, then I, I do believe that notwithstanding our disagreements, we'll be able to build a good relationship.